there are a lot of ignorant people out there who doesn't understand that her performance is fine based on what I see in the video. And many people understandably don't get this part. Some of the biggest influencers and YouTubers don't understand this. Okay, by now this video has been making the rounds on the internet. Now I personally am surprised why it has gone viral with people having their very uh, opinions on both sides. The corporate culture has always been like this, especially large companies. This idea that you are not really treated with respect and are seen as a cog in the machine in a large company shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. This is like a video exposing drug companies pricing their medications very unethically. It's bad, but no one should be surprised. In case you haven't seen it, here it is. Hey Brittany. Hi. Yes, I'm so sorry. Uh, my name's Rosie. I'm just uh, joining the call. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm on the HR team. Hi Brittany. Hi. Thanks for meeting with me and Rosie. Um, we have an important meeting today. We finished our evaluations of 2023 performance. This is where you have not met cloudflare expectations for performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. Sure. Um, so I started August 25th. I've been on a three month ramp. And then it was three weeks of December and then a week of Christmas. And then here we are. Um, I have had the highest activity amongst my team um, since I've started. I have had three contracts out, done a really great job managing my deals up until the very end that decided not to close last minute. Um, so I don't think that that makes a lot of sense for me in my Cloudflare journey here so far. Also, um, every single one-on-one -on -one I've had with my manager Every conversation I've had with him has, he has been giving me nothing but I'm doing a great job. I have had great activity. I have really great meetings. I'm picking up the products very quickly and um, things have been going really, really well. I make really great relationships with my clients. Um, so I disagree that my performance hasn't been, um, I haven't met performance expectations um, when I certainly have just because I haven't closed anything officially. I hear you. Um, also, you. why are you Go doing this and not my manager? Not, you know, we've never met. So this seems a little odd that my manager has no idea that this has been happening and the director has no idea that this has been happening. So I'm just definitely confused. And um, yeah, I would love like an explanation that makes sense. 100%. Um, Real quick, let me carve out the, the two threads, um, the ladder of why I'm on this conversation. I'll, I'll put that one to the second half, and Rosie might be better to explain the process of who's giving this information in the prior piece, which is your uh, feedback and, and notes about your performance. So let me add a little color context to that. So um, just for clarification, you are not being singled out in this. Your peers are also being collectively um, assessed on performance. This is a collective collaboration for Cloudflare. So I just want to clarify that piece. I won't be able to add any kind of specifics on numbers or... Wait, yeah, no. Can you explain for me why Brittany Peach is getting let go? The... I won't be able to go into specifics for numbers. Wait, why though? I just started. I've been working extremely hard. Just because I haven't closed anything that has nothing to do with my performance on a three month ramp with just one month with two ho major holidays in the middle. I don't think that has anything to do with why I should be let go, if that makes sense. So I really need an answer and an explanation as to why Brittany Peach is getting let go, not why Cloudflare decided to hire too many people and are now actually realizing that they can't afford this many people and they're letting that go. If that's the real answer, I would rather just you tell me that instead of making up some bullshit and telling me that right before I lose my job from someone that I've never met before, if you can respect that. Yeah, I can totally respect that. And I don't think Dom or myself today is gonna give you any clarity or answers that's going to um, 
meet the expectations that you're communicating to us, Brittany. So I can't speak to. So am are... I getting let go for no reason? If you guys can't give me a reason. I'm happy to follow up with you separately to give you the data that was calibrated. I'll need to speak with um, revenue leadership specifically to see if we can get that for you. But Dominic, can you share that with that me now? In our meeting. I cannot share that with you right now, unfortunately. Yeah, it's understandable how you feel and your frustration. Cannot stress that enough. I have been working extremely hard. I, sorry, I just knew that this meeting was coming after knowing what's been happening with my peers and how extremely frustrated and upset everyone is. Um, I know you guys must not be able to understand that given the, in the positions that you are in and it must be very easy for you to just have these little 10 minute, 15 minute meetings, tell someone that they're fired, completely wreck their whole life and then that's it with no explanation. That's extremely traumatizing for people if you can imagine that and I don't I don't think that this is, it's it's just very, very shocking. Very, very shocking. I have like really given my whole energy and life over the last four months to this job. And to be let go for no reason is like a huge slap in the face from a company that I really wanted to believe in. Can I absolutely understand how you feel that way and why you feel that way? And I'll be honest with you, there's nothing that we're going to say in this call in the time that we have that's going to undo the way that you feel right in this moment. And I personally will do everything that I can to give you as much specific information as I can after this call. I can't make any promises. Uh, I understand where you're coming from. I can tell you that Dom and I do care. I understand the feeling that you have right now. Um, and I can't change that. So I'll just be honest. But why I can't, so, but there, you guys have still not given me a reason why I'm being let go. Despite constant positive praise from my manager, great meetings that I'm having, um, the amount of activity that I have has all been positive. I have not received any negative inclination. I have not been put on a performance improvement plan. Um, nothing. So. And I, I cannot speak to what your manager has communicated to you directly. But that you should are, be the indication for, of for performance based on your attainment and leading indicators of data. I, that is that is the rationale. But I've been here for only a month after ramping and that was during a holiday so i don't understand what those can you explain what those performance metrics are or is that just like a a, a vague term to give to everyone that you're speaking to today i'll say that the the performance indicators and performance metrics are while they are we're not able to go into specifics and we won't, there's no situation where we will be able to go into Do you guys even know? Do you guys even know, like, why, like, who you're talking to each day? Like, every single 10, 15 minutes, do you guys even know who you're talking to? Like, why you're letting these people go when you don't even understand, like, the kind of work and everything that they've put in? I hear you and what you're saying. It just doesn't make it, it just doesn't make any sense that you guys have still not been able to give me a reason why I'm being let go. Just for, from a process perspective, your questions are valid. This isn't going to be the forum and the situation where we're we'll able to go into the detail that you're but looking then, for. But then when? If it's not right as I'm getting fired, then it's certainly not going to be after when I'm no longer part of the company. No. So I don't think there's anything we can say in this moment or today, Brittany, that's going to change the way that you feel. And it's under, again, like understandable. I'm taking notes and feedback and we'll circle back. Yeah, I know you did that for me too, the but that's... Of the meeting. Um, it's not going to change the outcome of the situation today. So it may be best if we, I do get into more of the specifics of what the next steps are, um, because I think it's clear that you have questions that we cannot give answers to. And if you'd be open to it, I'd love to move into what the next steps are so that you're not um, any further blindsided than you already feel. Okay. Thank you, Dom. Uh, okay, and I'm, again, I'm really sorry that you're having this experience and feeling this way. Um, one of the things that we want to confirm is your personal email address because that's where 
Um, um. So I'm going to give you my take on both sides, hopefully with new information you have not heard elsewhere regarding the reality of the situation. This is a lose-lose situation, right? The company messed up on two main points. One is not having her direct supervisor do the firing, her point of contact. Second is by either lying or shifting the reason to her firing to her performance with no data to back up anything. Now since we don't know the real reason she's fired, and we know the company used very vague terms to cover themselves from a legal point of view, I suspect the real reason is a budget problem, not a performance issue. But if you are using that reason, ha at least having her supervisor telling her and bring some data, or better yet, convey nicely the message that we're out of budget, you simply have to be let go. So this company made mistakes. But honestly, if every employee records the way they are fired, this kind of injustice is extremely Extremely common. Now her attitude aside, there are a lot of ignorant people out there who doesn't understand that her performance is fine based on what I see in the video. And many people understandably don't get this part. Some of the biggest influencers and YouTubers don't understand this. They should do some research beforehand. They only think, oh it's a sales job and you didn't make any sales so of course it's a performance issue. What they don't know is that she stated she started the job at the end of August, beginning of September. And this kind of tech sales job takes 2-3 to three months of training, they call it a ramp up period, before you actually committed or allowed to do the sales. It's not like you're selling a television. There are a lot of stuff you have to learn about what you are selling and how you conduct yourself. You are selling hardware or software solutions business to business that can be quite complicated. You need to know your own product insides and, and out and all the various scenarios. And then you need to know the different type of clients and tech sales have slow season which is generally quarter 4. New Year's, Christmas, these are the times companies are not looking to make large investments because it is the end of their budget cycle. Also it is the end of the year where companies are putting more attention on strategically how you know how things are going, it's, a, it's the end of fiscal year. Holiday season also means consumers are buying more stuff so companies are focusing more on marketing and making decisions and basically putting more efforts towards consumer side and not towards uh, business to business uh, decisions. There are a lot of reasons but the point is she only had basically realistically around one month or less time or more a little bit more or less time in the slowest month of the year to make sales. There's nothing abnormal about that. It's not like she hasn't made a sale in four, four to five months. She's been working there and she only has the opportunity to, to make sales for one month during the slowest season of the year. People don't get this part. So performance wise it's very hard to say that it's, it's a performance issue. Now what she really messed up on is she should control her frustration and not record this and put it on social media. Or at a minimum if she wants to bring more attention to this kind of behavior, blur her face, hide her name so people have least amount of chance of finding out who she is. Because I hope she's able to use this 15 minutes of fame to become a self-employed person since because she's blacklisted. I'm talking black hole level. Whether it is other companies or headhunters, no one's gonna touch her with a 10 foot pole. It's not about right or wrong. This is now a PR nightmare for the company. Even other companies that publicly praise her and say, we'll never do that, no one's gonna go anywhere near her. Cause if she's not happy for whatever reason, she is the type of person that would do something like this. This is a huge risk that the companies would avoid at all cost. So this PR problem is gonna cost this company a lot of business and money since their image is damaged. There are a lot of public support for her. A lot of consumers will react negatively and other companies are now less likely to want to associate themselves doing business with this company. So it, it's, it's just really bad. But for her, she's blacklisted. Here's the issue, she's blacklisted and companies is still gonna behave in reality how they always behave and make decisions. Only difference is now on the surface level they're gonna implement protocols that this kind of uh, issue will not happen to them. You're gonna get fired at a drop of a hat or for the wrong reasons. 
you still gonna experience all that. They're just gonna now gonna do it in a way that wouldn't make them look bad. So this whole thing is a mess. Nobody wins. Companies simply gonna learn to cover their ass better. Workers are not really gonna get real benefit. The practical culture is not gonna change much. So I don't know what her next move is gonna be. If some company hires her now, less likely, but it might happen. It's only because they will look good for the public. See? She's treated badly over there, but we're gonna give her a job and treat our employee nicely. Companies would basically take advantage of this and boost their PR. Everything is towards one goal, profit. But the safest thing for almost all companies to do right now is just have a closer look at their firing protocol and make sure that on the surface level, this kind of thing won't happen to them. So this is just the situation. I don't know what people are surprised or debating about. Her performance is not really the biggest issue if you really understand how her type of job works. Companies gonna cover their ass more strictly that in practical sense won't benefit anyone except now when people get fired it's gonna be softer it's gonna be backed by data it's gonna be their supervisor is gonna be there but really if if for whatever reason if money doesn't work out in your favor or for whatever other reason that's unreasonable you're gone. So vast majority of the commentators on this whole situation and they're arguing for this side or that side, that's not the point. The point is this is what is. It's not it's not a, about opinion. This is what's gonna happen. Alright guys, uh, talk to you next time. Cheers.